Welcome students in another online video class and today we are going to start section 2 of chapter 3 that is humans and the environment. Please open page number 44. Let's start with introduction. The relationship between humans and environment is a very close one. The environment provides land, water and plants from which humans fulfill many of their needs like food, clothing and shelter. As humans have gained knowledge and technology, their ability to make better use of environment has increased. Man has made great progress, but his progress is not always a blessing. He has also greatly damaged the environment and created problems like pollution, which is the introduction of contaminants into the environment, water logging, that is the soil saturated with water, salinity is the, an increase in the amount of salt in the water. On the other hand, the physical environment also poses a threat in the form of floods, droughts, and earthquakes, which are natural hazards and serious threat to life. So this is the relationship between human and environment. Next, we have climate and human beings. Climate is the major environmental factor and greatly affects human activities. Climate that is too cold or too hot or dry it will it will affect the human life. The effect of climate is seen most on agriculture and human settlements. Climate defines the area for growing a particular crop. For example, rice is a crop that grows in hot, wet climate. Similarly, maize requires a warm, moist climate. If the environmental conditions are not feasible for these crops, they will not grow. Rubber is an equatorial plant which grows best where temperature and rainfall are high throughout the year. So in this way, climate has a direct effect on the human beings. Next, we have physical landscape and human beings. The physical landscape of the earth is not the same everywhere. Hence, human activities on mountains and plains differ. Agriculture is mainly carried out, carried on in plains and valleys, but the slopes of mountains and hills are where the forest grow. So there are different life, you know, lifestyle based on physical landscape. Uh, like in mountains, we have slopes and uh, uh, where the fresh grow and the trees provide wood for housing and furniture and also for fuel at times. People living on mountains have different lifestyle and activities. They usually build houses made of wood and stone, whereas people living in plains usually use bricks to construct their houses. So. On the basis of land, landscape, human beings have different lifestyle. In next slide, we are going to discuss about water and human beings. Water is the most important element on Earth as it is essential for life. It is found in the following forms on the Earth's surface, seas and oceans, inland seas, rivers and lakes, snow, ice and glacier, and water vapor. Water vapor is all around us. So it is not visible when it condenses on large scale, we see it as fog. So here we have water cycle. Uh, you can see here from the picture that water evaporates into the atmosphere. Then it, in, it uh, takes in, for in the form of clouds, it condenses. And then it comes on the land in the form of rain. Again, it moves in, in the groundwater. And uh, from groundwater, it moves into rivers, and then again, this water cycle repeats. In next slide, we are going to discuss about uses of water. Water is used not only for drinking and washing, but is, uh, it is also used for irrigation. Rivers and lakes are the main sources of fresh water. Rainwater seeping into the ground provides a source of fresh underground water, which can be pumped out for human use. Rivers and lakes are important for humans because they are source of food. They provide us fish, provide routes of transport and communication, make irrigation possible, and generate electricity. The rivers of Pakistan, such as the Indus and lakes like Manchur, are important in land fishing grounds. Agriculture in Pakistan largely depends on the water of the Indus, Jhelum, Ravi, and Chenab rivers. So in this way, we are using water. We are using water for drinking, washing, for irrigating our crops, for producing electricity, and it, they, are, they also provide us fish. Next, forests and human beings. Forests are a vital part of the natural environment. 
They are like the lungs of the earth as they absorb the carbon dioxide and exhaled by humans and animals and release precious oxygen to the atmosphere. Trees root hold and protect the soil from being washed away by floods and wind. The roots also absorb water from the soil and help to control flooding. So through this, they help in con to control flood. The main kinds of threats are coniferous and deciduous threats found on hills and mountain slopes, tropical threats such as those in India, Myanmar, and Malaysia, and equatorial threats which are found in the equatorial belt in South America, Africa, and parts of Southeast Asia. So this is all about forests and human beings that they they are serving as earth lungs that they provide us oxygen and they also help in control in order to control floods they provide us shelter and wood and paper is also obtained from forest forests are home to a wide variety of animals and plant life forests provide wood wood which is used for construction and furniture and pulp for making paper products Lumbering is an important economic activity. Equatorial forest region with their dense, luxuriant vegetation are unsuitable for any other human activity except lumbering, rubber collecting, and fruit gathering on a limited scale. The lumber industry, on the other hand, has developed more in the contiguous forests, which are easily accessible, like in Norway, Canada. Last, in last, we have the living world and human beings. Human beings live on the earth where other living things like animals and plants also exist. Human beings, animals and plants are interdependent. So all the three living things, plants, humans and animals, they are dependent on each other. For example, plants provide us food for animals and human beings. Humans obtain milk and meat from the animals for food and they use the animal skins to make leather for making shoes, coats and bags. The physical environment of the earth like soil, water, land and air supports their existence. So ecosystem also plays an important role. Such a relationship between physical environment and human being is called the ecosystem and this physical interaction of human beings with the non-living environment we call this ecosystem. This ecosystem is very delicate and the activities of human beings are serious tangible to it. The careless Felling of trees has made forest disappear in many parts of the world. So what we are doing, we are cutting forests. So deforest, due to deforestation, the number of forests declining all over the world. The, uh, they are disappearing from the earth. Rain, uh, as a result, important plants have been destroyed and many animals which lived in these forests have also become extinct and the atmosphere has also affected. So the uh, animals which were living which, uh, in these trees, they they are they are they are becoming extinct, and the atmosphere is also affecting because forest plays an important role in order to absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. So through this, we are uh, we in uh, human activities we are disturbing our atmosphere and our uh, earth earth system. So this is all about today's lecture. Please keep watching my videos. Thank you.